Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. We talk about stocks on this channel, and it's been a little while since I've talked about Sensionics. I want to bring you up to date on a couple catalysts that are coming up. Next week, we have one major catalyst, plus we have the big major catalyst that I want to talk to you about, hopefully coming up soon as well for Sensionics. And like every other stock in the stock market right now that you probably love, it's beat down and I'm holding quite a bit of Sensionics in my long-term portfolio and I want to pull up the chart for you here real quick. Let's just do that first, okay? So from a high of $5.56, Sensionics has corrected way, way down. At one point here, it got down to $2.75 per share. It's about a 50% drop from here to here over on the 23rd. Again, that was kind of the start of, of the the this correction that we've seen so far over the past uh, week and a half or so, okay? Now, it rebounded up from there, up to over $4 per share, $4.40, and it's dropped down to $3.40 since then. So that's where we're at right now. So tomorrow morning, okay, when the market's open, pre-market, Sensionics gonna, is going to open at about $3.40 per share, okay? Now, what are the, what's the catalyst coming up this week? We have earnings, okay? We have earnings on Thursday, March 4th, and those will be announced. Um, I want to pull those up for you here real quick. It says, Sensionics Holdings Incorporated schedules fourth quarter and full year 2020 earnings release and conference call for March 4th, 2021 at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. That's right after market close, okay? So Thursday after market close we're going to get some news on sensionics now i've heard from some people that um it's not always a good thing um and i can't really corroborate this across a bunch of stocks because it isn't always a factor but when a company releases earnings on a thursday instead of a friday it it i've, I've heard from people that this isn't necessarily a good thing um, but based on what I'm seeing, it isn't always a bad thing either. So something to keep in mind, okay? So after hours, Thursday, we're going to get some earnings announcements. Now, I think these will be good earnings. Um, but again, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 we'll see. Um, I, so this could be a major catalyst, major catalyst going into next week. And we could see the price go up just based on anticipation that we're going to have some good earnings. Now, I'm going to jump back over to the uh, the stock chart here because I want you to peek at the broader the broader scheme of things here since even since January. Okay. January here, boom, we saw the price go up, start to jump up here, okay? But this was trading under a dollar for quite a long time in January before it really exploded January 15th or so, okay? Now it pretty much doubled in price right here and then it doubled again right here, okay? So this stock, similar to like Nano Dimension or BNGO or some of these others, people holding this stock that didn't buy way up here are, have a lot of profit in this stock, okay? So if we see a broader market correction, if we continue to see more of a downtrend over the next couple weeks, Sensionix will likely come down further, especially if earnings aren't, if they don't beat expectations uh, by quite a bit, okay? Or give some sort of like crazy guidance or something, okay? So if they give really good guidance for the next, you know, year, um, I, I could see this this going back up to four fifty five dollars per share relatively quickly that's kind of what i'm hoping for but if we continue to see this this market correct remember my last couple videos i said i was worried about this 3800 s p price and we're kind of right exactly there now that's kind of a tipping point right if it can if the 3800 doesn't hold up and it goes past that it's likely that the broader market is going to correct another five to seven percent or so. So I'm hoping we're going to get a rebound off of here, and we're going to have a good week next week. Um, and I think we're due. I think we're due for some uh, some green days uh, coming up here. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. But I want you to be realistic. There's a chance that Sensionics falls, and you have to ask yourself: Are you willing to to hold on? 
Um, or do you want to wait for the dip? Or do you want to wait to see if it if it goes up? Um, it, you have to kind of make that decision on your own by doing your own due diligence. Okay, so the biggest catalyst coming up soon is the FDA approval of the 180-day uh, system that the, the continuous glucose monitoring system that goes in right in your body right now the the thing that makes Sensionics great is that they have a continuous glucose monitoring system that goes in your arm for 90 days okay so three months you don't have to do anything you put it in your arm um, and it monitors your glucose you have to recalibrate it twice a day um, but they're working on a 180 day version of that as well uh, that's already in use in Europe and they're trying to get FDA approval for it now. Now, here's the thing, everything going on over the past year, the FDA approval was pushed back a couple months, okay? So, I've heard, I've heard everywhere from March, like the end of March, to the beginning of June as some sort of an approval date. So I want you to keep that in mind. We may not get FDA approval next month. Um, I think it will be a little longer, but we'll see. If anybody has any more information on that, let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you know more about this FDA approval than I do, I would absolutely love that. But so far, I can't find any more information on when we're expecting FDA approval on the 180 day. Now, if for some crazy reason, the FDA doesn't approve the 180 day uh, continuous glucose monitoring system, that could be a negative catalyst for SENS as well. Now, again, I'm holding this stock long term. I believe in this company long term. Uh, from what I'm hearing from you guys, and I've heard from everybody from nurses to doctors, the people with diabetes themselves, this is potentially a game changer, the 180 day system. They're also working on a one year system. And when that comes out, when that gets FDA approval, this I think will revolutionize continuous glucose monitoring. Now, there are some other systems. There's a lot of competitors. Dexcom is a big one. Medtronic's a big one. Working on other systems as well. So those are things you've got to keep in mind as well. But the, the diabetes issues, type one and type two, aren't going away anytime soon and and people are born with diabetes they deal with it on a daily basis and it's something that this this market unfortunately is a growing market for the continuous glucose monitoring systems so there's enough room even if dexcom comes out with something um better than they have right now there's enough room for sensionics to exist in this space as well and do very very well now if we look at sensionics let's go back to the chart here from a market cap standpoint they're still over a one one billion dollar market cap so 1.2 but a lot of room to go you know um, dexcom is a much much bigger company like 40 times bigger or something crazy like that um so i'm, I'm again i'm holding a lot of this in my long-term poly portfolio i am down um in my long-term portfolio because i my cost basis i think is right around four dollars or so uh, a little bit less um so i am i am down um but um i i have every faith in my bones that uh Sensionix is going to turn around and again this is a long-term investment for me it took a long time for dexcom to get where it's at where it's trading at right now um and i think Sensionix will uh will get there as well so um pay attention to these catalysts coming up with Sensionix. I appreciate you. It's going to be hopefully a green, green week next week. We'll see. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, a live stream here with my uh, with my private Discord in a little bit just to kind of get prepared for Monday. We do these every every Sunday. So if you want to be a part of that, um, consider joining the Patreon uh, t tomorrow so you can be a part of it next week. I don't want you to join today and then get billed again tomorrow. Um, so, But if you join, if you join on the 1st, um, you, you can get access to all the uh, the private discord stuff and then the watch list that I update and uh, access to my uh, my 10k to 100k challenge as well which has been um, which has been fun to say the least at one point I was up like 43 um, percent and now I'm still up on the year but not quite not quite that much so it's been a tumultuous couple weeks guys thank you so much for joining me thank you for almost 50,000 subscribers I appreciate each and every one of you, as always, if you didn't already do it. 
hit the like button for me. I would absolutely love that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.